We enter the camp, peering out of the driving snow, and choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days until we couldn't get out any long on any longer. Soon we began to starve, and children and adults around us packed and ready to go. We'll escort them. How many hours? Does it say that'll take five hours? Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Frostpunk. Uh, so, let's get right into it. Um, this time the goal is to fix some of this illness issue and send out a... Uh, well, they finished off that nice. Let's create a party and go... So I sent our scouts there. Okay, I got a bunch of people at that coal pile. Some people there. Need more engineers for that. Let's look at our um where's the heat overlay this one? Okay. These are all livable. Well the cemetery I'm not super concerned. Why is there someone walking there? There's nothing out there. Eight hours till they get there. Okay, so. I think we improved the efficiency of this, did we not? Yeah. So we did steam up heater, which is what we needed for the heating, exploration, we did the beacon, resources. I think the sawmill's probably next. We don't have any engineers to employ here, sadly, and we need to keep them all on this. So we have a lot of sick people. Hunters are getting ready to go out. Keep zooming out and that <laughs> causes me issues. How many days? We have about a day of coal. I don't have this overclocked, do I? No, I don't have it overdrived. Good. I really need to start getting a better source of coal. We're running out of uh, raw resources. Where is the coal mine research? That's tier one. So I think this, once we have engineers, we want to do tier one technologies. God, everyone's just getting more ill. I mean, we're starting to recover on food. Discontent's going up a little bit. 
bad health care. We have two huge hospital doctors things. We need a... What is it called? We need an infirmary, really. Twenty two hours left. I have engineers employed out here. Oh, scouts. Explore. We enter the camp, peering out of the Driving snow, which choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days until we couldn't get out any long on any longer. Soon we began to starve, and chosen adults around us, packed and ready to go. We'll escort them. How many hours does it say that'll take? Five hours. So finally our gravely sick is going down, but that may be because we lost someone. <laughs> really hope that's not the case. They're bringing back 10 engineers, 22 workers, and 4 children. Perfect, so we should be able to, let's... Coal thumpers... I think... I'm going pressure water into the ground coal, the coal thumper washes, the pressure is restricted to the surface, forming a pile up to 500 coal per standard workday. Together for two gathering posts. Coal mining is really what we want. Which we can't even do till this tier, so I think that's the wall drill. Start. 19 hours. <clears throat> this is gonna cut it close. We're about to have a bunch of workers. We can essentially harvest all the remaining resources quickly. And we're starting to cure people, I think. Discontent. Who's on emergency shift? Uh, who's on an emergency shift? I don't think we have any emergency shifts going on right now. Ooh, this is something cool. What the heck is this? I don't know if that's anything relevant to us. I'm assuming it's like... Okay, we're starting to heal people up. Like I said, once we get all the workers in, I can fill all these job spaces that are missing people. Hopefully. We can start to, with every job filled out, we can start to get some progress made. I can fill up this coal and this coal, and we can have full efficiency. And our priority is going to be getting some wood and building two more houses out in this area. Near our heater, probably there in there.
I don't know who has an emergency shift. Oh, this is a cool little graphic. So we have a bunch of survivors. Okay. Into the wilderness, we should follow it. We must find other people in the future our survival. Saw that. Twenty-two homeless, so we need to build more homes. So we need two more houses. Or I need to make these houses more efficient. Temperature falls. this in overdrive it's nice and comfortable inside of here Five people working there, so that's maxed out. So 24 per hour. So it's not 100% efficient. This is. steam cores are for <sighs> yeah I know we're out of wood we're researching a sawmill so we can get wood Let's see can I build another the heater under tech. 20 steel for the steam hub. Just put them on that because it's all out in the same area. Forty makes 80 food a day, which I don't know if that's enough. How many people do we have? Sawmill's moving along. Just waiting on this research to finish up. Okay, let's actually pause. Mm -hmm. 
getting everyone's getting sick from this heat, this cold. I think Hothouse lets us, uh, I think we definitely need the medical post upgrade. I need some stuff. Amputee. We don't have the food for that. I don't think I should sign any of these, to be honest. With the hunters leaving. I think everyone's just gonna die. I think I'm still screwed. I mean, everyone's gonna have a home for the night that's in the heated zone of the new heat, of the extra heater. I feel like I need another medical post. I don't have the wood for it. We got about a day of coal, wood, we're almost out of steel, we're almost out of. This one's pretty much no efficiency whatsoever because of the nature of it. Why does it have 14 out of 15 workers? Doesn't matter for that.
put them up to as high an efficiency as I can. This is the night, so there's nothing I can really do during the night. Area effect. Whether an advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. City. Shelter is comfortable and well equipped for emergency supplies. There is a notice posted by the heavy round door to all scientists. If you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. If there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London. Home, 27 miles. We could use the supplies of the city. Far more than we could. Yeah, I turned overdrive off good. I was a little stressed when we were doing that. That overdrive was still on. So soon the temperature is going to rise again. No employees for this thing, and also it doesn't have a road to it yet. I don't know what the steam cores do. Is there like a thing in here about the steam cores? Soon as... Is this one lower efficiency? I guess some of our people are sick here and none of our people are sick here. And this is super low efficiency, but at least there's some efficiency today. It will actually get us something today. As soon as this is done researching, we need to research, save the wood up to do, we need to, as soon as this wood pile is gone, all of the workers from here are going right here. Well, as many of them as can transfer over going right there. And then everyone else is going on this pile or, these are both full, right? Yeah, these are full. Okay. This one is nearly done. It's nearly out of wood. Like, end of this day. By the end of this day, I think we'll be out of wood there. I'm going to build another medical post. Because I feel like we need one more. And I know these guys are coming back with a lot of food, some wood, and a steam core. 
Actually, wait a second. How much wood? 243. Do we even have enough space for that much wood? Oh, yeah. We have plenty of space for that wood. Dang. That's a lot of wood. So, the, at that point, we can... Mild frost. We can gravely go. Crap. We just need to hold out until they get back. Next thing we'll research is... Drawing boards. And then we can do probably coal mine. Or first off, the medical post and the bunk and the hothouse. Because I think the hothouse lets us grow f not yeah, grow food. And then we can start working on upgrading that. Because right now this whole hunting for food thing is <laughs> barely keeping us alive. Too homeless. How do we have two without homes? I don't know anyone to work in this doctor's office right now. Temperature's about to go up very soon. These guys are going to be home super soon, too. Crate depleted. Okay, they're back. Let's pause. Put ten people there. Drawing board. How long is that going to take? Eight hours. That's maxed out on people. It's 10, so that'll start draining. We're almost at a coal to harvest. We really need the coal mine. We have 11 children unemployed. So most of our children are unemployed. Which is good. I don't want them to be employed. Let's see if we can get this done before the end of the workday. We're about to heat up. We lost someone. Pretty much everyone is sick. What does this say? This is the medical post we need. It'll be open in two hours. There are plenty of price of supplies in the records of our expeditions searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wreck. We found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass as if they, these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Let's 
let's send our scouts home because I feel like we need <laughs> need those resources they're going to bring. Oh, we're pretty much out of time for this episode. This is going to produce us a lot of wood. Turn on the heat. And then that's the other thing we need to build. Gathering post. So that essentially we can set up a semi-automated coal system because we're running out here. Only one team there. Well, that's about it for this episode, sadly. So, next time. Oh, oh we have the coal pumper done. Don't have to work it. It'll be these people working it once they're once they're done. Because right now we have all of our engineers as doctors. Uh, yeah. So. I guess we've made a little bit of progress. Working on this side of town today. And yeah, that's about it for now. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day, guys.